Hello YouTube and happy Project for Awesome! So books. I think it's fair to say that many of you enjoy books and are glad that books exist. Probably some of you are happy that there's a place out there that has books you can take whenever you want for free. That's right, I'm talking about libraries. Did you know that the library has a Bill of Rights? If you did, great. I have some book recommendations for you. If you didn't, strap in because we're going to learn about it. <clears throat> the American Library Association affirms that all libraries are forums for information and ideas and that the following basic policies should guide their services. One, books and other library resources should be provided for the interest, information, and enlightenment of all people of the community the library serves. Materials should not be excluded because of the origin, background, or views of those contributing to their creation. Two, Libraries should provide materials and information presenting all points of view on current and historical issues. Materials should not be prescribed or removed because of partisan or doctrinal approval. Three, libraries should challenge censorship in the fulfillment of their responsibility to provide information and enlightenment. Four, Libraries should cooperate with all persons and groups concerned with resisting abridgment of free expression and access to ideas. Five, a person's right to use a library should not be denied or abridged because of origin, age, background, or views. Six, Libraries which make exhibit spaces and meeting rooms available to the public they serve should make such facilities available on an equitable basis, regardless of the beliefs or affiliations of individuals or groups requesting their use. 7. All people, regardless of origin, age, background, or views, possess a right to privacy and confidentiality in their library use. Libraries should advocate for, educate about, and protect people's privacy, safeguarding all library use data, including personally identifiable information. And there you have it. While the Library Bill of Rights has been amended a few times over the years, this document that protects your rights as a reader and your library's right to provide you good books has existed since 1939. So if you know anyone who's trying to get in the way of your right to access the library or read that super cute manga about the boys who like ice skating, I think you know what to do. The Bill of Rights is also super fun to reference in letters to your elected officials in support of the library. And the American Library Association doesn't just stop at the Library Bill of Rights. They have resources to help fight book bans, they host Banned Books Week each year, and they give out the Youth Media Awards for outstanding media and books for young people. All of that is the reason that I am supporting the American Library Association for this year's Project for Awesome. If you'd like to, you can vote for them and learn more at the links in the doobly-doo. And please support your local library. Whether that's a letter, a thank you, or telling the people who want to take books away to kick rocks, your local library and your community will appreciate it. Read more books, take care, be kind, and DFTVA. Bye, YouTube. Take eight million. A little more arts and crafts involved in this than I was intending.